much money did you make on the COVID vaccine, for example? Uh, nothing, actually. We made nothing. You got billions of dollars in subsidies from the federal government. Taxpayers have paid you billions. How much did you make on opioids? All those opioids you prescribed? How much did you make on that over the years? I do not have that information. Really? I thought it was curious when you said that your company, Credo, was to always put the public first. It is. Was that what you were doing when you were lying to doctors and patients about the addictive nature, the nature of opioids? We is that why your company agreed to billions of dollars in settlements with states and other localities because of what you did to further the opioid crisis? We prevailed in the only two cases that were tried. You settled for billions of dollars, and I brought one of those suits, and it's the proudest thing I ever did as Attorney General of the state of Missouri. Your company has made billions of dollars on American consumers, multiple times lying to them. And the idea that you now are looking actively for ways to limit the liability for further towards you have committed against the American people, I think is outrageous, absolutely outrageous. And if you want to know why the American people don't trust huge corporations, it's because of companies like yours. And I would just say to my colleagues, if you want to know why private rights of action are so darn important and why we need to use them against the big tech companies, this is the reason why. One jury verdict got $4.6 billion. That's a hammer. Companies fear it. They fear it. It's why they're trying to distort the bankruptcy code to avoid it. We need to give more Americans the ability to get that recourse in court. And we need to change the bankruptcy code to make sure that companies like J&J &J can't avoid it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.